option. Oh, shoot! No! What have I done? I, I got too close to this mound over here. That's another interesting thing about this hole, is the elevation between mounds. Like, look how high this, this uh, uh, mound is between this grassy area and this grassy area. Yeah, that can get in your way on some shots, so that can be quite some problems. But, in this case, I guess it's not that much of a problem if I curve the ball from left to right. Um, yeah, this is going to be an okay shot. Don't go on the fringe. It's going to go on the fringe, isn't it? Yep. Oh, no, wait, the game, this game does call it fringe and not green edge. Which game calls it green edge that I'm thinking of, then? Hmm. Maybe it's the other Mario Golf I'm thinking of. I played that one recently, but not this one. Maybe I'll do a walkthrough of the original Mario Golf. I don't play the original Mario Golf as good as I do with this Mario Golf. I still play it decent enough. Uh, not tournament worthy like this game, though. Um, nine more holes to go. The front nine is finished. And that also means that today's uh, recording session will also be finished soon, which makes me a very sad panel. But don't worry, I'll be back to Mario Golf some other day. Uh, but what am I talking about the end so soon for? I mean... <clears throat> I don't have, I, I, st I still got uh, plenty of game, I should say, plenty of course to go through before the game ends. Just nine more holes, come on! What am I talking about? Then again, I always talk nonsense. Ah! Did you see that? Ultra precise shooting right there. Or you can call it lock one of the two. <laughs> go, Peach. Wave to the crow that's not there. That's another weird thing, um, that they took out, I mean, that's, that's a weird thing that they took out from the original game, I don't know why I said another weird thing, I don't know, because I'm weird or something like that, is that they took away the crowd's, um, the crowd's clapping, I liked the, I liked when the uh, crowd clapped, I thought that was a nice touch, like it was an actual tournament, I thought it was kind of a nice touch, at least I did, but it's not in this game, which I found was, which is kind of disappointing in a way, but there's still the announcer that says nice shot and stuff like that. Um, I guess it makes no sense since there's not really any crowd there, as I said, because Peach was waving at no crowd. Oh, no! Oh, wait, this might, this might actually be an easy shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, ever so slightly off. I love getting chip-in shots. Uh, and I also used to be pretty good at getting chip-in shots when I was more precise, but, eh. I don't really care about that stuff anymore. This is all about the fun. As I said before, always have fun with your hobbies, no matter what they are. When you're not having fun, there's no point to your hobby. <laughs> Seriously. Um, oh, I should have played it further up the hill. Now I'm going to have a downhill approach to the green. Um, that's a thing that you should pay attention to, is when you lay your ball somewhere and then you have to aim towards the green on the next shot make sure it's on a flat surface or uphill surface towards the green pointed towards the green if possible because downhill surfaces are really hard to control its uh um power and direction so to speak it's just really hard to judge uh, i'm gonna hope for the best here because i'm using a very high club to even get on the green and control it with backspin and that worked out really nicely i'm surprised I'll be able to make this putt, maybe. I don't know, as I said, there's no guarantees in golf. And I think this is going out. I think it's going to be Yeah, go Peach, go. Do the dance. Come on. No dance? No, just wave to Carl. Dang you. Do something different. Uh, I want you to do something sexier for the crowd. <laughs> it would make more sense for my walkthrough commentaries. And because... Because of the way this green is a slope from front to back, I'm using super backspin to control the uh, speed, which probably still won't control it. Or I should say control the spin of it. Yeah, this, this green is really hard to land on. There's not, not really much you can do on the screen. Uh, unless just, just hope for the best. And play for pars if you can. Uh, you're, you'll almost always get a par on par threes. Because if you're aiming for the green and you don't hit it in the water, you're going to get a par on it. Because you're going to get close on your chip shot, and then you're going to make the putt. Just like I did. Okay, this this hole here, right, uh, is a pretty interesting par 5. But I, I've said a lot of holes are interesting, actually. Um, because when you have a character with a longer drive, 
you're able to hit over to this this patch of land right over here. And then when you hit over there, um, you can go through, see that river over, over like over there where that star thing is that I'm pointing out on screen? You can hit through that river and over towards the green in two shots. But that's reserved only for people with uh, larger drives. Um, but for the people with shorter drives, like Peach here, you're going to have to take the long way around and ring around the rosy uh, clockwise around the mountains and the river off to the right. And the next shot will be on the green, just like so. Oh, I do not like that water's position and where the pin is. So I'm going to angle the shot so it comes in from left to right, just like that. Um, so I can roll the ball to the hole. Oh, shoot, I miss hit the shot. Oh, no. Oh, wait, that's not going to go in the water. I was, I was thinking of a, a different hole that has more of a slope that goes into the water. For this hole, I guess it's not much of a problem, is it? I, I most likely won't get my birdie unless I chip this shot in. Uh, chip, 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 going, going. Aww. Come on, Peach, we can do this. Yeah, that was an easy putt, so what am I talking about? 